What is up guys, how's it going? Today I'll be showing you the preview version that was released for Ubuntu a few days back. Sorry this video should have come in earlier but it couldn't. I'm going to be running it on my Google, on my Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Yeah, it's a Google phone so who cares. So we'll go ahead and unlock the screen. So as you can see it's the traditional Ubuntu screen. It's it's just the preview version guys, so let me go ahead and unlock and show you more stuff. Now it's been very buggy for me. I haven't been able to really do much on this device because first of all it doesn't seem to be connecting to um Wi-Fi. And although I tried several times it just keeps on failing again and again and that's just that's just something I've been noticing. So there are tons of bugs. Also another bug is I can't make or receive calls so network data is definitely not on my side. As you can see it just keeps on lagging several times. Although I'm trying to get out from this place I just can't. Keeps crashing again and again several times. Well this is a preview version so go ahead and unlock the screen for some reason right now it's just really buggy but yeah you have the home screen and then when you go next you have your apps <coughs> and you have people obviously these aren't people they just made it for people to preview the um, the OS so these are just random people that have no idea about you know, I'm pretty sure I have no idea about them. They also put up some music as well. These are just pictures guys, if you touch on them nothing happens. But this is how the OS itself will operate. All your music would be in these sort of thumbnails, which is very cool. I think it looks very nice. It's, it's also very fluid. Well, it lags at times and then at times it gets fluid. but. Do keep in mind guys, I've been saying this several times, this is a developer version, nothing is accessible. You can use the internet though, but uh, mine isn't allowing me to do that, so I haven't been able to literally do anything. As I told you earlier, I can't also ma make or receive calls, so that's messed up as well. But this is how the home screen would be. My recent running apps, whatever I choose, would be here. So let's say for instance, I... Um, I open Facebook it just takes you to the browser right now the app is not available so I get a network error so the on the home screen the app would be there sorry on the apps drawer I'm sorry man. on the apps drawer the app would be there as you can see is it's lagging and doing lots of stuff so right now these is this is how all of your apps would be on the left hand side of the screen so you can just quickly select whatever you want. Also, if you're in an app, for instance, and you want to go to the home screen, you can just um, pull the app right away. Like, just flick it that way, and then it goes to the main screen. You can also get quick access by pressing on any of these icons, and it will take you to the respective app. So let's launch camera. I heard camera is working, so let's see if it really is. No, okay. This is the call function, but I don't have that, so we need camera. But yeah, guys, that's how the dialer looks like. And the camera, okay, here we go. Alright, so the camera seems to be working fine. Um, no problems whatsoever. Let's take a picture. Okay, so how do I take a picture? Alright, so it seems like I cannot take a picture because it doesn't seem to be taking one. It's just stuck on um just stuck on the main screen. I can't seem to do anything. Nope. I can just see the main screen, but yeah. How you would get access to your apps is you can just swipe from the left and they scroll around. They would go in rotation you don't end up back on the screen so I said earlier you just have to swipe that way and you would be on the screen so that is the app place oh sorry 
so you have your music, your people, your home screen, the apps, and videos. Now videos also look very cool. They have these 3D graphics kind of thing going on with the thumbnail of the videos you have, which looks, I would say, it's a very beautiful OS. I can't wait to try this out. I can't wait for them to release the actual working version, or maybe at least the beta version that people can use to try out. I think the OS has a lot of potential, the way it is. Also, um, your notifications <coughs> come on the people screen, such as recently in touch. You can see some people messaged, so that's all of that for them. And also new contacts, you can see that as well. And then you get your phone book, I'm assuming. You can also do a quick search by pulling down over there or yeah by tapping over there and one thing you notice is that the screen space that the buttons on um, Android were taking is totally gone I'm not sure if you guys can see that but yeah they're totally gone and the screen space is not being used so I would say that is good in a way because many people complain about the screen space and how they can't use it but yeah the keyboard itself I would say is very cool there are lots of things to find out such as prediction and stuff but yeah you can search for anything from here let's say if I search for Facebook hopefully it will pop it up or if it, even if it doesn't okay it's not I think it's just for your contacts because it's only searching my contacts so that's that and how to get into settings you just have to swipe from the top and then move to the left from the left to the right or wherever you want to get into so we have date and time but we can't really change anything here because this is also just the visual you can't really modify the settings and then after date and time you have your battery life which is that's what I had before I flashed the ROM so before I flash the Ubuntu, so that's correct. And then you have your networks, then you have sound, you can mute it or adjust volume sound, and then you have messages. So that's cool, you get your messages just like, I would say, just like Android. You can also see your notifications on top. So, okay, so yeah. These are all the notifications, I'm guessing. We have missed calls, we have Facebook messages, we have emails. So all your, <clears throat> basically all your notifications come into the messages box, which is very cool. So that's pretty much it, guys. To sum it up, it looks like a very promising OS, and it looks very beautiful. I can't wait for it to be released. And uh, if you have any questions on how to install this, or if there's anything else you want to know, do leave it in the comments sec section below, and I would be glad to help. Do give the video a thumbs up guys because it helps me a lot in making more and um, follow me on on Twitter or Google Plus if you have anything to say or if, if you like what I do and do subscribe as that helps me even more. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.